um, special album to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, of course, after taking a long break, you know what I'm saying? Just coming back to having people, you know, really mess with the music. You know, sometimes you do an album, you probably get like four, three on there that right. like big singles. Yo, I'm talking top to bottom. Come on. Fire. Come on. How are you feeling though? How are you doing like just mental as a brother? As you a brother? know what I'm saying? It hasn't been easy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just thank God, you know what I'm saying, for being able to sit here and do my job, talk to you. Mm -hmm. You know, so I was at a point that, you know, I felt I wouldn't be able to even do my job. So right. I'm just happy, you know, I'm able to be creative again. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, the success of the album has really, you know, shown me and it's been part of my healing process too as well. Right. You know what I'm saying? Going to the studio, I was going to, you know, after like three months, you know, I was able to, you know, work again. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the producers that, you know, came through. You know, and this time, you know, normally while you're in the studio, you know, it's a crowd, mm -hmm. you know, you know how it is being right. in the studio, but with this album, it was really, you know, the producers coming to me personally, right. you know, working on it one-on-one, -on -one, mm. you know what I'm saying? Because it was just me and my wife in the penthouse, you know, right. you know, my boys don't stay there. So that's why I think, you know, if you listen to the album very well, the production, everything was really precise, mm. you know what I'm saying? A lot of new producers, you know, that I put on, new writers, new artists. You know what I'm saying? That's hard, man. And now we about to go on tour. Right, tour. Let's talk about tour, man. What, festival time? You know what yes. I'm saying? New tour, stadium tour. Excuse me, wait, wait, don't play with him. Stadium, <laughs> dog. Not no, not no basketball arenas, man. I'm talking about stadium stadiums. Like, tell me about the tour. Um, <clears throat> Tour, Um, you know, it's definitely the timeless tour. You know, we start in D.C. And I think we end here in Atlanta. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm starting a festival. Come on, I heard about that now. Yes, you know, called Away Fest, November 18th. Okay. Um, and it's really me just, I always thought of like, yo, I'm from here. And I'm, you know what I'm saying? The connection between Atlanta and Lagos to mm. me is very special. The synergy because I was going back and forth for so long. Right. So, you know, I, I know how to live in America. I know when I get to Nigeria, how to live. Right. So I was also thought like, yo, why, why isn't there like a African Coachella or whatever? You know what I'm saying? Right. So I decided to, you know, you know, make it a festival and mm. I want to do it every year. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Bring um, both up and coming and rising stars you know, from like, from Africa, mm -hmm. all the hottest stars. You know, people don't, sometimes people don't get opportunity, you know, to come out here and perform. You're right. I was in the club the other day and they were playing um, some artist song from Nigeria and I sent him the video. I'm like, yo, they bumping your stuff out here. And he's like, man, you just wish you could get the opportunity to right. come. So, that's kind of you know what I'm doing. So I think it'd be dope too. Like like, are you gonna add like a lot of food vendors too? Because I feel like I, my, my folks just came. La Bianca, she was telling me about some West African food. Yeah, I'm like, bro, yeah. I don't know about that, but I want to try it though. I feel like no, for real, there's gonna be um like I want to make it like a whole like it's, like I said, not only food but also clothing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I think we, there should be some suya. You know what suya is? Nope, but I'm trying to find so out. So it's like <laughs> it's like steak, but it's like steak. no, I know about suya. I know about suya. Yeah, we know with the pepper on the right. side. So, but I mean, it'll be, it'll be dope. It'll be dope to have some food. Right? And that's around what? When when you trying to November do that? November 18th. November 18th. Put that on your calendars, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. November 18th, the festival. What's it going to call? Away Fest. Away Fest. Uh, away. So, Away, you know, stands for Are We African Yet? You know what I'm saying? You know, meaning, you know, right now you see everybody like looking for where they're from, like mm. Drake the other day. I'm about to say, what's up with Drake? <laughs> what are you doing, man? Tell me he's Nigerian now. So, like the other day, Drake was just looking for, you know, where he was from and if you, if you look at the room mm. if you read the room a lot of people now want to know where they're from right in Africa so you know this is one step closer you know bringing the festival closer to them and also showing them you know a different side of what you know people because you know people are not educated fully right about how Africa is right you know and I know that firsthand because when I moved when I came out here for school people in school didn't, didn't really, really know what was going on social media so it's easier to you know see things anything mm. that you see in America right. we have it back home as well right. so. well Drake need to bring your African ass to Atlanta <laughs> for this festival since you're African okay because we trying to get some Nigerian food and stuff my brother yes sir so album out right now single unavailable you know what I'm saying tell about this new oh, single nah, baby, look, come on now you know every album I, I like to have you know one viral record that, you know we'll have like a challenge and like I always say every time I'm in the stu um, studio making music and the producer is like what should we talk about like let's talk about anything that will make a woman feel good right come on now that's the money come on now you know all, all the time that's the money so 
So that was when we came up with the hook. I already knew, like, ah, you know how girls would be like, yo, I'm unavailable, blah, right. blah. So, you know, then um, the dancer, the cho choreographer in the video shoot, she just came to me. She's like, I don't really like dancing, like, in right. my videos. She's like, yo, David, I think it would be cool if we do, like, a challenge, like, make it like a dance. So it's like, I'm unavailable. Damn, no, this. Okay, now. So we did I, it. I think I can do that. <laughs> so we did it. I posted it on the gram, went crazy. Mm. Boom. Like in two weeks, we had like a million videos. Come on now. A million videos. So that's the single we pushing out, going crazy. Um, I think it's going to be like the song of the, of the summer. Come on now. I ain't mad. I and ain't that mad. new, I'm a piano vibe. That's Come on, a piano. Too. I know what, man, I'm my boy piano. Cash put me on that, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's I was going crazy I, with I went to his club the other day. Yo, 